Hi, my name is Jin. I'm one of the teachers here at Reading Town. Uh, today we're going to be learning about bright love. So we know what love is. Love is when you really care for someone and bright is something that we can see very clearly. So bright love is our title today. It says one of humanity's greatest inventions is the printing press. Invention is something that humans make like machines that help us to live easier or more comfortably. So one of the greatest inventions is the printing press. In 1439, a German inventor named Johannes Gutenberg was the first European to use a printing press. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with the printing press, but the printing press is what is used to make a lot of books and newspapers. Before, a long time ago, before this great invention, people had to sit there and write it with their hands. And that would take a lot of time. But with this great invention, we can make many books so that many people can read. That's why it's such a great invention. So over in Europe, a man from Germany, Johannes Gutenberg, was the first person to make this machine, this printing press. It says here, however, Korea made the first printing press to use metal movable type in the 13th century. The printing press uses movable types to create lines of words. Movable types were made with brass, iron, copper, or wood. Chinese characters were casted as metal pieces to print books and Buddhist scriptures. This great invention created the books we cherish today. So just to give you a little background about the printing press, it uses little tiny letters and those are called the movable pieces, the movable type. Uh, you could put different languages, different letters on these small blocks and these small blocks would take the ink and pound it on the paper or it would press it onto the paper, hence the term printing press. You would use many different materials. Brass is a strong type of metal. Iron is a stronger type of metal than that. Copper, it's a little lighter. And we have wood. So they used wood because it was easier to find. But then as time moved on, they used different, uh, different kinds of metals because it would last longer. So this is the printing press. And I think all over uh, most of the world, people give credit to Johannes Gutenberg. But people here in Korea recognize that it was first created here uh, in Korea. So this is uh, our first part of today's lesson, understanding uh, the reading text. So here now, uh, we will go into the science portion. After we have read the article, we will start filling in the blanks. And if you look at the first question, light is something every something being on earth needs. So we heard that all of humanity, that was part of our passage. If we go back, right, one of humanity's greatest inventions. So in the word humanity, we see the root word. If we take out the I-T-Y at the end, we see the word, yes, you and me, human. So a light, light is something every, that's right, human or living being on earth needs. So we need light, so does plants. So do many animals. Without light, we would not be able to see, we would not be able to eat, and especially the plants, they would not be able to make their food. So light is something that every living being, such as you and me, human beings, living beings on earth needs. Also the second question, the light from the something reaches earth in just eight seconds. So if you look at how the sentence is broken down, we know that we cannot, uh, we don't have to have a verb here because reaches is already the verb. So what is it that reaches earth? You guessed it, the sun, light from the sun reaches earth in just eight seconds. So even though the sun seems so far from us, it is, but at the same time, light travels so fast that once it starts shining from the sun in eight seconds, just like that, it comes to you and me. The last question, light will always travel in a straight line unless something, what will it do? Something obstructs it. So obstructs is another synonym of blocking or getting in the way, not allowing to go clearly straight through. So if you look at this picture, there is something that obstructs the light. That's why we have some shade and that the tree may at times obstruct the light for the little plants. So I want you to practice using these words, living being, living things, uh, the sun, as well as obstructs or to block. So if I can't see in the classroom because the child in front of me is raising their hands, the student, and is not sitting down, then the view of the teacher will be obstructed. So that means I cannot see because it's blocked. 
Okay. Now let's focus on the right colored words. So in this sentence, sunlight, we can say bring, brings, bringing heat to our earth. So here we can say sunlight, if we say bring, it's just a simple form of the verb and it needs uh, some extra help so we know it's not bring, right? Because it would only be I bring or we bring, but it says sunlight. Uh, bringing means it's happening right now, but there is no is. Usually with ing, we need is in front of it. So sunlight brings heat to our earth. So when you add the s on the verb, it's not like a noun. In a noun, if you put an s, you usually make it more than one. But here with the s, we know that it's an action that continues to happen. It did it today, it does it tomorrow, and it will continue to do it. So in other words, whenever I see s on a verb, I think of it as something that usually happens. So if I say Jenny walks to school, that means she walks today, she will walk tomorrow. That's what she normally does. So here, sunlight normally brings, or just brings, sunlight brings heat to our earth would be the best choice. Let's look at the second sentence. Without light, everything will be dark, is dark, or are dark. Well, we know first of all, are is used for plural, but here we're only talking about light, right? Yes, even though light is uncountable, we count it as a singular being. So here, without light, everything will that's right, will be dark. So be, the be verb is talking about the current condition and it's saying that without light, we wouldn't be able to see because it will be dark. Uh, if we didn't have the be verb, we could say everything is dark. But then here, because of the way that the sentence is structured, it's will and will needs the be verb, be. The next sentence, your parents love you when the plants love the light. So that means your parents won't love you unless the, the light loves the plants. That sounds kind of strange, right? The, your parents love you if the plants love the light. So you're saying your parents only love you if the plants love the light. Mm, I don't know about that. Or we can say your parents love you like the plants love the light. So like would probably seem like the best answer and it is because it's comparing. Just like how the plants love the light and need the light, that's in the same way how your parents love you. So remember, just like how the plants love the light, love your parents. Thank you very much. I'm Jen from Reading Town. I'll see you later.